I started writing the book a couple of years after I got back from overseas. Um, probably the most common question that people would ask me after I got home was, what was it like over there? Um, you know, I realized that I didn't really know myself. Um, there really is no analog for war. Um, but when I started writing, I remember reading a quote from Ruskin talking about Turner. And he said that most people's experience of the sea comes from standing on the shore, but that Turner had managed to paint from inside the sea. So I really just tried the best I could um, to show the experience of war from inside the sea. Rounds by the hundreds shook dust off the ground, the trees and buildings. An old car crumpled and collapsed beneath little clouds of dust. Once in a while, someone ran between the buildings, behind the orange and white cars, over the rooftops, and they'd surround themselves with little clouds of dust. A man ran behind a low wall in a courtyard and looked around, astonished to be alive, his weapon cradled in his arms. My first instinct was to yell out to him, you made it, buddy, keep going. But I remembered how odd it would be to say a thing like that. It was not long before the others saw him, too. He looked left, then right, and the dust popped around him, and I wanted to tell everyone to stop shooting at him, to ask, what kind of men are we? An odd sensation came over me, as if I had been saved, for I was not a man, but a boy, and that he may have been frightened, but I didn't mind that so much because I was frightened too. And I realized with a great shock that I was shooting at him, and that I wouldn't stop until I was sure that he was dead. And I felt better, knowing we were killing him together, and that it was just as well not to be sure you are the one who did it. So, I decided the best way to write the book would be to simply show, as best I could, the cartography of one man's consciousness, or a boy, really. Um, to show the experience of being in a war through one person's eyes. And I thought that people would be able to relate to that. Um, everybody knows what it's like to be afraid. Everybody knows what it's like to be ashamed and angry. And I thought that if I put it in the context of being in a war, that people would be able to relate to that experience.